1-800-449-8255. What about New York? What's going on in New York? Is it allowed in New York? Does Bloomberg permit the book to cross the Hudson River, I want to know? Ray on WOR, have you seen Tup today in the bookstores? Good afternoon, Michael. How are you? Uh, my experience today, I went to go buy your book, and uh, I walked into Penn Books in the Long Island Railroad Concourse at Penn Station. Um, when I asked for the book, they pretended like they had never heard of you before. And then I pressed them a little further, and the, the gentleman certainly knew who it was and, and where it was. It was on the bottom rack, at which point he took it out and put it on the table and asked me if I wanted a bag for it. I proudly said, absolutely not, paid my cash, and walked out the door. And well, I maybe, I should, maybe we should provide the plain brown wrappers for it since it's considered such an offense to the Democrats in America. I mean, liberals are not... Hey, let me tell you something. Liberals are probably going to react quite strongly to this book cover. I can guarantee you, if you carry this on the Long Island Railroad or a subway, uh, you're going to get some eye-turning. If you want to really upset the apple cart, <laughs> this cover doesn't mince words. Thank you, happened- very much for, thank you very much for buying it. Well, it's already beat the leprechaun. It's number one in conservative books on Amazon. And I know that the leprechaun can't be too happy with that, and uh, that that makes me uh, that you know that makes my day. I mean, what can I tell you? The uh, the gang at Fox News won't have me on. It's sort of like a a little. Uh, well, I mean, what do you want me to say about it? You got a so-called conservative network. You got a best-selling author writing a blockbuster conservative book, and nobody's allowed to have me on because the leprechaun says so. That seems to be sort of censorship. I thought that the conservatives were into, like, fair and balanced, and let's discuss it, and let's debate it. Well, I guess there's certain things that they are afraid of debating, and there are certain books that they don't want to hear about, but perhaps if a, a hooker or a pimp comes along, they can certainly put them up on, uh, on one of the shows. That might help ratings. So there's no bitterness. I can do without them. They can do without me, but it's pretty much a, a pretty big story when you see that Fox News won't have Michael Savage on. After all, I, didn't, I wasn't born yesterday. 1-800-449-8255, michaelsavage.com. San Diego Pascal, welcome to the Savage Nation. Your experience, please. Uh, 5.30 this morning, I walked into the JFK terminal for JetBlue, and there was a Barnes & Noble there. I looked everywhere for it. It was not to be found. In the JFK terminal, the Barnes & Noble kiosk, is it a store or kiosk? It was uh, actually a, you know, it was a storefront. Like, you know, where they, it was in the uh, terminal for JetBlue. And that's a, a Barnes & Noble. Then I'm sending you a free copy. We'll report that to the publisher. I don't know why it is in there. Stay on the line. I appreciate that very much.